my name is Peter Hausjak, and I'm here to uh, speak about RESCO Mobile CRM. It's a native mobile client for dynamic CRM servers. Uh, just at the beginning, I, I want to give you something tangible. Uh, so, a lot of companies nowadays in Northern America and Western Europe are buying dynamic CRM servers, and they use uh, the mobile part for it as well. And their open choice is RESCO Mobile CRM. Uh, we do have customers ranging from uh, one dynamic CRM user up to a couple of thousand uh, dynamic uh, CRM users. Can everybody hear me? I think so. Yeah, you can keep going. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> so we have customers ranging from one uh, dynamic CRM user up to a couple of thousand dynamic CRM users. So it doesn't matter if you are if you are a very small company or medium size or if you are large. And at the beginning, I just want to give you something tangible. Uh, why should you, your company use the mobile CRM uh, for dynamic CRM servers? Uh, there is one company uh, that's doing researches in USA. Uh, it's called Nuclear uh, Research. It's probably the second largest uh, research company in Northern America. And uh, they asked this question, why should companies uh, use mobile CRM? And they found found out uh, that mobile and social CRM uh, increases the effectivity of uh, sales reps by 25%. So this is what you can get. Uh, if you think about it, uh, you have lots of employees uh, that are taking calls, uh, they are sending emails, uh, they are doing uh, back office work, some accountants, but at the end of the day, uh, the sales reps are the people that are bringing the revenue uh, to a company. So if you can increase their effectivity by 25%, I think uh, that, that this can impact uh, uh, very much your company. Uh, this is our company, Resco. We were founded in 1999, uh, so we are uh, more than 13 years in the market. Uh, in the beginning, we were focusing on mobile games, uh, mobile apps, and tools for mobile developers. Currently we have more than 3,500 corporate customers worldwide. Uh, I can mention, for instance, uh, the logistics industry. Uh, we have companies such as FedEx, uh, DHL, German Post, uh, US Post, but other large companies such as uh, US Army, Samsung, IBM, HP, and others as well. Uh, we are partner of Microsoft, Visual Studio, Motorola, Zebra, and others. But I'm here uh, to speak about the Resco Mobile CRM. Uh, it's a solution that comes in three parts. Uh, we will give you mobile CRM applications for different mobile platforms, and we can provide you with customization tools. Uh, we have two tools. You can use both of them, either of them, or uh, you can combine which you prefer. So the first one is called Woodford, and the second one is Studio. I'm going to explain this later on. So our mobile CRM applications uh, support uh, following platforms. Uh, we use iOS, so iPhone, iPad. Uh, we have clients for Android smartphones, Android tablet. Uh, we support Windows Mobile, Windows 7, Windows Phone 7, and the new Windows uh, 8 version in Metro Style we just released weeks ago. So if you use any of these, you are ready to go. All the functionality that we provide uh, is same across all the platforms. So if we support maps, uh, you're going to have maps uh, on iPad, on iPhone, on Android, or no matter mobile platform you choose. I can say that from uh, our own experience, about 90% of our customers are using the versions for tablets. Because as you know, uh, the screen of the tablet uh, is larger. So it's more comfortable for salesperson in the field uh, to write something or uh, create some fields or to edit some sort of data. But of course, you can use uh, also smartphones. This is up to you. About 90 or 80 percent of customers are using the iPad. So here is how it looks like. Uh, we have two modes. Uh, you can switch between online mode and offline mode at any, any time. It's the same application, same functionality, uh, 
same behavior, but in offline mode you are uh, working with uh, offline data that is stored on your mobile device, so on your iPad for instance. Because sometimes you will have sales reps that go abroad or they are inside the buildings or in some places uh, without the mobile internet connection available. So they can switch to an offline mode and they can still access uh, all their important uh, dynamic CRM data. They can also change the records uh, in offline mode, uh, update, edit, or delete the record. And after when they have Wi-Fi or 2G connection available, they can just uh, tap on the synchronization button and all the changes are pushed onto the server and the new changes that were created on the dynamic CRM server are going to be downloaded back to the device as well. Of course, you can choose also uh, to work in online mode. And in online mode, you have always uh, uh, freshly loaded data from your server. So when you tap on activities, you will get the fresh list of activities that is being downloaded from your server. And also, any changes that you make in online mode uh, will be instantly reflected on your server. Uh, here is one plugin that we provide for free uh, with our solution. Uh, this one is actually working only in Internet Explorer. This, this is not available from your mobile device. But what it does is uh, that at the end of the day, a manager or a person with permission can see the activities of mobile users that are in the field. So he can check out that uh, this sales rep and from over here, here he created a new account, here he placed an order with a mobile application, here he placed a phone call to the customer, uh, here he updated the quote, and so on. You can, of course, disable these features. This is up to you. And uh, I just want to mention that uh, this is not tracking uh, the real-time position of your sales reps. It only tracks the activities that are created uh, in the field. So. Uh, you cannot check out uh, during the night where your employees are sleeping and so on. Uh, this is the HTML5 customizations that we provide uh, with our customization tools. It means that uh, you can use HTML5 technology to create your own uh, user interface uh, using our tool. You will use HTML5 and all the data and business logic and synchronization with dynamic CRM server is going to be handled by our application. So we do have some customers that prefer to have really nice looking uh, user interface and you can use the HTML5 uh, uh, designers to design the user interface. This is a sample application that we created for restaurants. Uh, a customer enters a restaurant, you can, he can check out the menu and he can place an order and everything is stored in the dynamic CRM server. Let's move forward. Uh, we support dashboards and charts uh, that Tony was showing you uh, as well. So uh, you can insert into your mobile application any kind of bar chart, pie chart or cone chart. So we can see uh, all the important data uh, for you. For instance, the CEO wants to see all the orders. Uh, warehouse manager needs to see some of the products. Uh, then you have sales reps that need to follow their, their goals and, and so on. So you can uh, design the dashboard for each of your dynamic CRM users very easy. Uh, we have advanced map functionality. What it does is that uh, you have an overview on a map of all your accounts, leads, and contacts. Uh, I will show you a live demo uh, of our application just in a second. Here is the photo capturing feature. Uh, I can say that uh, this one is important for plenty of our customers. Uh, for instance, we have a customer that works in real estate business. And when he's visiting customers, he wants to show uh, the pictures of real estate that he's offering. So he, he wants to show pictures of living uh, room, uh, bedroom, the view from balcony, and so on. So you can easily take a picture and attach it to any type of record in your dynamic CRM. Let me 
had another customer that wanted to attach a picture of a restaurant and to each account and so on. Uh, we support signatures, so you can capture a signature uh, directly from your customer when you when you are visiting, so you can sign an invoice and sign a quote and so on, or you can capture some kind of drawings or idea, if you will. Uh, we support also various attachments, so uh, if you use, if you are using dynamic CRM server, you will often have some um, uh, external files stored in your server, such as PDF files or Office files or any kinds of pictures. You can view these directly from our application, so you don't need to save them uh, in your mobile device and run them in some kind of external application. You can just view these directly. Uh, we also support iframes, so a lot of customers do have their own web portals that they need an access to. For instance, uh, you need to check some uh, additional info uh, about your customer. So we can put uh, iframe a URL, and you can also parse uh, some other fields into the URL. So let's say uh, we'll define an iframe for googlemaps.com, and we will parse into the URL uh, the fields such as street name and uh, the city name. So this URL, uh, when you tap on the iframe, will show directly the position on the Google Maps. So that was just an idea, but you can use something similar for YouTube, Facebook, or any kind of web portal you might have. Here is the solution architecture. Uh, our mobile clients uh, connect directly to dynamic CRM web uh, through the web services. So uh, there is no need to buy additional middleware or any server component. You will just download our application and license for it, and you can connect uh, to your dynamic CRM server right away. So there is no additional cost. So, uh, we support two customization tools, but maybe uh, I will jump into the demo straight away. And just give me a second. I'm going to open my iPad. I have an application here installed that is projecting uh, my iPad, so what you see is the real device I'm holding in my hand uh, to show you uh, how it's uh, how it's behaving in, uh, in real time. So at the top, uh, you have offline and on online mode, so you can easily switch between these two modes. Here is the synchronization button at the top right corner. So when you're working in offline mode, uh, once in a while, you want to uh, synchronize your data, push it onto the server. Uh, the sales reps usually start their day by uh, going to a tour plan. Uh, it's an overview of your uh, all your activities and appointments uh, on the timeline. So you can switch between uh, agenda. So here you can see everything you have scheduled for today. You can go to day, week, and month. So I'm going to switch to day view. So here I can see all the appointments that, I'm, uh, that I have scheduled for today. So I have, a, for instance, a call with Fiona Parker, then I have a brainstorming in, in our meeting room, and so on. You can very easily uh, create your own appointment, but I will switch to a uh, week view. So here I have uh, uh, my whole week, and I can easily tap my finger, and uh, I can create the new appointment, let's say, on Thursday at the end. Here I will put some more info about uh, this appointment. So I will uh, set regarding to, well, let's say this appointment is regarding to an opportunity, and it's this one. I'm going to select it from list. I will put the subject. So it's, for instance, a price negotiation. Uh, I will put the location. Start time was already set, but you can. Uh, also do uh, the end time, if, if you will, and you can set priority. 
or uh, you have some other fields here as well. What you see here is just an out-of-the-box version, but you can totally customize uh, this application to any needs you have. So if in the appointments, for instance, uh, you have some, some sort of a custom field that is important for you, you can very easily delete all these fields and uh, give her anything that is important for you. So, I'm going to discard the changes and I'm going to show you a dashboard. This is how it looks like, but as I said, you can define anything you want or anything that is important for you. Here is the map. Uh, the map always uh, zooms into your current location. So the uh, blue pin is my current location and I can see all the accounts, contacts and leads on the map. I can pinch with two fingers uh, to zoom in and zoom out. Or I can navigate throughout the map uh, with one finger. Uh, FX, those are the green pins. I can only say to uh, show me the account. Those are the red pins and so on. If you tap on, on a pin, uh, you get the name, account, or contact, or lead. And there's, there's an arrow. And you can access all kinds of different information about this customer. You can plan an appointment. And at the bottom, uh, you have several other types. You can create a contact, quote, order, or you can go uh, to edit screen where you can edit details about this contact. I'm going to go back and I will show you how the activities look like. In the activities, uh, you can see all the appointments, phone calls, emails, and so on. Uh, but you can also define your own uh, custom activities here. You can filter them by going to this button. So let's say I do not want to see all activities. I just want to see the appointments. So here are my appointments. I can also use the search functionality. Uh, it's, it's an instant search. So when I tap me, it will find me the meeting uh, with the CEO. So I don't have to wait for long searches. Yeah, I have to say that we have some customers uh, in the US that were used to uh, accessing their dynamic CRM from uh, Internet Explorer, so from their PCs. And when they were given an iPad uh, with our application, they actually preferred to use the iPads instead of standard PC because it's much, much more simpler and it's even much faster. So if you have tried the dynamic CRM before in Internet Explorer, it might be sometimes a little bit slower, but when you go to our, our application, you get instantly all the data. Connie was also showing you in uh, Internet Explorer, I have seen how to, uh, that you can uh, qualify the lead. Then you can do uh, in mobile application, actually everything that you can do in, uh, in your server side, you can do this uh, also in the mobile CRM, but usually in a much uh, easier way. So I will look for uh, uh, a lead that is not qualified, this one. And at the top, you can easily qualify this lead or disqualify with some reason. When you qualify, it works in the same way as on the server, so you can create a new account you can create a new contact opportunity, and you can also uh, open all entities, entities, entities that were just created. So when I hit save button, everything was created, and uh, from my lead, I got this opportunity, I got this contact, and I got this account. So it was very easy indeed. So this is an out-of-the-box uh, version of the application, but as I said, you can totally customize everything according to the needs that your company has, and we are using two tools for that. You can either use uh, the Woodford or the Studio. The Wood I'm going to show you Woodford because it's very easy. Let me just disconnect so you will see how it works. So Woodford is a small application that connects to your Dynamics CRM server. 
So you need to type in your URL, your login credentials, and the password. It's going to connect to my server. And here I have mobile projects, so these are the customizations that I'm going to explain in a bit. But I have also access to all uh, the mobile devices that are connected to my server. So I can see device ID, operation system of the mobile device, uh, the device name, and the version of mobile CRM. But I can also pipe out the data from the database remotely. So let's say that this device was stolen or lost. I can go here and wipe out the data from it. So if you have some critical information stored in your mobile device, you can wipe out the data remotely, and nobody can access it even when the device is lost. Here are some several options. Here, here you can manage your licenses. So this server has 10 licenses. I have six available because the four users, I got four mobile users right now. Here are some additional settings, but I'm going to show you a very simple customization. Actually, uh, it depends what you prefer. You can ask Tektura to do the customizations of mobile CRM for you, or also Tektura can provide you with the wood for and you can do these customizations on your own. So this is always up to the choice of the customer. So I'm going to uh, create a very simple customization. So it's for Tektura. And I need to choose my system role, so it's system administrator. Then I'm for Tektura. Now the Woodford connected to your server, uh, actually to my demo server, and here I can see the list of all the entities that are stored on my server. Uh, those that are highlighted are already available on my mobile device, and those that are not are uh, not uh, uh, available from my mobile device right now. But when I choose, you, you can add basically any type of entity, even the custom entities, for instance, the competitor is my custom entity. I can easily enable it right here. And I can define several other options here as well. But I'm going to show you some very basic stuff in my account because uh, there is a lot of fields. I can go to fields, and here you will uh, define which fields you need to use in mobile CRM. So let's say I need uh, send marketing materials, this one, let's say. Here you can set also the permissions. So if you have some very critical data uh, that you don't want your mobile users to update, you can just uh, uncheck this field and they won't have a chance to uh, update it with, uh, their iPads or Android tablets and so on. Uh, I forgot to save, sorry for that. I can also design my own views, so I already have my default view, but I can import any view from uh, my dynamic CRM server. Let's say I, I want active accounts on my mobile device as well. Uh, the primary contact ID is missing, so I forget forgot to add one field. This one. So it's save, and now I can import the active accounts and public view. We'll give it a name, but it, this one is okay. So it, here is how it, how it looks like, but you can uh, define what you want. Here are all the fields that you have available that we have chosen, and you can resize or uh, rescale, or you can even change the style of your mobile CRM application. You can edit filtering, sorting, searching, and so on. And so I forgot to say it. And you can easily define a new view. So let's say I have a sales rep uh, that, uh, that is working in Dallas area, so he needs to see only accounts uh, that are located in Dallas. So I will choose a template, let's say city, uh, let's say street, and I will define 
the filtering option where I will put city contains Dallas. Uh, so I have three views now from uh, for my account entity, and now I'm going to publish these changes to my server. So the, uh, these customizations are now being uploaded to my server. And when I show you my iPad, Just give me a second because the screen is not refreshing. I will restart my application that is projecting my iPad. I go to account now, I can only see one view. Uh, because the views are uh, being filtered here. But when I synchronize my device with this button, it's going to be uh, uploaded uh, with all the customizations that I published. So uh, when you will have your sales reps in the field, you can easily do the customization uh, on your server side. And you can just push these customizations on the server and all your users don't have to uh, upload or, or download their new mobile CRM application. They, they can just easily synchronize their device and all the customizations will be visible to them. So when I go to accounts right now, uh, I have, uh, when I tap on this button, I have three views that I defined. Uh, this was the default one that I had. Uh, this, this one is my system view that was designed automatically. And here I have only accounts that are located, as you can see, in Dallas. In a very similar and easy way, uh, you can define uh, which fields you need. So a lot of companies have their own custom fields and custom entities that are important for them. So you can uh, design with Woodford what to see and uh, what to access from your mobile application. I'm going to go back to my presentation. Yeah, so the Woodford is working for all the platforms that we have, so iPad, iPhone, Android. So uh, you will just make the customizations using this tool, and all the changes will be re reflected on all the mobile platforms uh, you have. So you can also combine one person can have iPad, iPhone, and Android smartphone still count it as one license. So you don't need to buy more licenses if one person is using, let's say, five mobile devices. Here's how the Woodford looks like. We went through the demo. And uh, your partners is, uh, is, of course, Tectura. So you can uh, ask Tectura uh, for pricing options. You can ask them for an access to the Woodford customization tool or any related questions uh, you might have. There are a couple of our customer references uh, worldwide. For instance, uh, there is the largest uh, telecom provider in Belgium. We have uh, Louis Vuitton, which is very well-known uh, brand, uh, styling brand in Europe. Benko is the largest dental care provider in the US. And we have lots of other companies as well. These are just the examples. Here is my contact information in, in case uh, you will want some additional info. But I think now we have some uh, additional time uh, to review any questions you might have. So if Tony, could you please uh, unmute everybody so uh, I can hear some questions? 